Live from the psychopathic radio hovel, conveniently located on the top of the Fisher Building overlooking Detroit, Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Ashtrays and Action Figures with your host, Monoxide and Jamie Madrox. Is it mint on card or mint in box? I like toys, I'm Jamie Madrox. Jamie Madrox, Jamie Madrox. I like toys, I'm Jamie Madrox. Unexplained and unexpected. A skinny chain smucker and a kind of fat red kid. Kind of fat red kid. Kind of fat red kid. A skinny chain smucker and a kind of fat red kid. Oh. me of like back in the day you know the easy times the easy times rolling in my boys escort because <laughs> everybody had an escort because they were mad cheap and they had a hatchback in them so you'd like go out at nighttime right and you just roll through and steal as many sounds as you could out of other cars and, like you just have like the the jiggiest fucking like like six by nine box that you took out of somebody else's car and like like a Kenwood, Kenwood two knob, you know what I'm saying, with like three fucking EQs hooked up to it, like all the wires hanging out, and you got like all the EQs working and shit, <laughs> and it's all, you can't even hear nothing but, <laughs> <laughs> them were the days, man, them were the easy days, all you had to do was try not to go to jail, try not to get caught, that was it, that was the rule, try not to get caught. Hey, speaking of back in the day, since we're on the subject, wait, a, like every fucking show is back in the day, right? Because that's how we spin this old ass shit. No, we don't all just spin, whatever the fuck, man. But I was checking, check it out. You know, the, the Comcast cable? Yeah. They got the on demand shit? Yeah, it's my shit. You go to the fucking free movie section, and it's the fucking bomb, dog. 80s movies. Dog, stop fucking playing, dog. I watched Back to School. Remember that movie? I just watched Ghostbusters 1 and 2. See, I'm not even talking about Ghostbusters. I'm talking about like like, the, like the teenage type flick 80 movies. You know what I'm saying? Like Back to School, dog. Somehow like the, 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 the fucking main bad guy in the movie, his name was Chaz. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His fucking name was Chaz. And then Rodney Dangerfield freaks it and does the triple Lindy at the end. The triple Lindy ain't so fucking dope. And Oingo Boingo's in it. And fucking just the hookups they got are so fucking fresh, dog. This ninja's got on like a modified thriller jacket. Dog, it's pretty fucking fresh. And then the soundtrack, forget about it. You know what I'm going to do one of these days? I'm just going to play like all 80s movie soundtracks. Not like the dope 80s music that was like, you know, fresh, but like the, the, the cheap knockoff shit that they just had like some in-house studio guy make for the movie. Yeah. And then we're going to put like a webcam in here and we're all going to do 80s dances and we're going to rock 80s outfits. But that'll probably never happen. So I'm down. I'm down too. Even without a webcam, we can just act it out. You know no. what I'm saying? You ready, I'll still take you, you out. into that old school vinyl fucking shaggy shit? Well, this is like fake ass shit because it's your CD. Yeah, but so it's still your old school shit. You guys are kind of fucking hot right now. What's going on? Whoa! What do you mean we're hot? Wow. Well, like you're like bitching over here at I each other all night. I thought you were talking about like we look good or oh, something. No. Yeah. Oh When's my the goodness. last time you had pussy whack? <laughs> last. Well, I, technically, don't even speak on that part. Don't even was, speak on that cut part. His, cut his mic. No, cut his mic off. Yeah, that's where this bond though. Whack gets cut off. You cut me off. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Right. Hey, fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. All right, wax off. <laughs> no homo wax. That bra looked like somebody peeled out on her face yeah. with a, a four by four truck, like with like four wheels in the back. Oh, the last. Right. Talking back. about the last bitch wax fucked. I'm just talking about in general. He'd be like fucking. You saying she looked like she got hit in the face with a full can of corn? She looked like her face like was rubbed across some fat dude's asshole. And then put into a lake, like, full of piranhas, and, and got bit up on the face. <laughs> and then got pulled out. Pulled out. Well, I was just Canadian. Pulled out. Pulled out. <laughs> in the <laughs> boat, you want to get shot? Yeah, and that brought, like, went upside down a parachute. 
like to the floor and landed face first in the gravel where a car picked her up and just dragged her across. And that he shit. tongue kissed her. And like then after that, no, nah, he tongue kissed her butthole. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? He owns the people that make tanks and the missiles and all the ammunition. His family owns that corporation. So what better way to flourish that corporation than to go start up some phony war because everybody's going to have to buy their ammo and their tanks and all that crap from you. It's true. So that's how he did it. It's very sad because it's all about money. It ain't about the people. The people don't, it don't matter. It's time to talk about Danny Kaye. From the beginning of my career, from the first fucking day I ever decided I wanted to rhyme, I had to fucking, I had to lay out everything before me and realize who the master, who the greatest was, and that I will never be that. You know, <laughs> I had to lay out everything before me and realize who the greatest of all time is, and I had to realize on the day I decided to do this, that I would never be this man. And his greatness will never be reduplicated. And he's still around. And he's alive. And he's a living, legendary hero. And his name is Danny Kay. Alright? And musicians, Kid Rock, Eminem, you know, everybody from Detroit primarily realizes and understands how legendary this man is and the influence in the power and the effect that he's had over this game. And I'm talking about Danny K and I'm going to give you a quick retrospective on Danny K tonight. Starting with some of his earliest works, we're going to take it all the way back to 1987. This is some of his 1980 fucking 7. All right, that's a long fucking time ago. 11 years ago. A great many of you weren't even born then. All right? <laughs> 1980 <laughs> fucking seven. Danny fucking K, all right? This this was happening. Man. <laughs> As they say, you were a nut stain in your daddy's drawers. When this shit was being bumped on the streets of Detroit. So it's time to catch up tonight right here with a quick retrospective. However, <laughs> I'm going to now tell the Juggalos and the Juggalettes tuning in. That I'm going to tell you how you can stay posted to Danny K. I'm going to give you a secret bit of information. I'm going to give you his MySpace page. So you can check out the K for yourself. I know you've just been mesmerized. You want to know more. You don't want it to stop. <laughs> but the time has to come. And, and now it's in your hands now. It's time for you to take the torch. Keep running up that mountain. Keep learning. Keep studying. Keep listening. Keep keep medicating yourself with Danny K. <laughs> and how you do that is you go to MySpace. Some, however you normally go to a MySpace page. Slash Danny K. And that's K A E. And he spent the K A E stands for Danny K A E always excelling. Whoa. And I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I could see my truck was parked out in the parking lot of the movie theater. And next to my truck was a car that was running. I could see its lights and its exhaust. It was running right next to my truck. And my truck was parked way out in the middle of this big-ass mall parking lot. So as we're all walking toward the car, I look and I see some movement going on within my truck. Like I see somebody is in my truck moving. So I start sprinting to my car. I'm like, come on, y'all. And we all start running. And I said, someone's in my fucking truck. And so we're running. And we're running, and all of a sudden, whoever was in my truck jumps back into the other car, and they pull off, and they're in like a Buick Regal. And I had a truck, which was capable of climbing over curbs and whatnot. So, by the time I get to my truck, my other boys ran to their car, 
and it was just me and Blaze made it to my car. So we jump in my truck, and I see that the other car is taking the long way to get out of the mall parking lot. They had to go one way to avoid going over the curbs. You know, they had to go back all the way up to the mall. But when I got to my truck, I see that my 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 window is smashed, and my stereo is yanked out of my dash, right? And I look, and lo and behold, my CD case is missing. But I can see the thieves right there in that fucking Buick Regal. So, me and Blaze, we barrel over a couple fucking curbs and over the medium of the uh, road. It was on Van Dyke Road, which is a boulevard road, which Michigan has. They call it the Michigan Turnarounds. And, uh, and I barreled right over the fucking boulevard, and I'm right behind the thieves now. And there's three of them, and it was me and Blaze in hot pursuit. All I wanted was my CD case. See what I'm saying? Because there's some valuable tunes in this motherfucker right here. This bad boy right here, sitting right here by my side right now. So, uh, we were in high speed pursuit. You know what I'm saying? So I needed the help of the 5 in order to recoup my shit. So I reached my for my cell phone, which was normally sitting right there in the pop holder, the, the, the cup holder, and that was gone too. But luckily Blaze had his. So we called the police and I said, I am right behind the thieves who stole my car stereo. And I'm in a high-speed chase as we speak. And the police said, all right, what's the license plate? So I read off the license plate, and then the police said, all right, sir, thank you. We'll take it from here. And I said, shit. They probably stole the car, too. So you ain't going to catch these motherfuckers. I'll tell you where we're at. I'm going to keep an eye on them high-speed style. So we were just barreling through red lights, barreling through fucking heated intersections, running people over, smashing cars, fucking doing 90 across fucking on the wrong side of the freeway. At one point, my truck was riding on two wheels for about a half a mile. I could be throwing a little bit of exaggeration in there, but I might not be. It was pure fucking high octane action. So, meanwhile, I'm telling the fucking cops where we're at. I'm like, we just crossed 14 mile. Now we crossed 15 mile. Now we made a left on this. We made a right on this. Now we're on Utica. Now we're on grass shit. You know, and I'm give, telling them where we're going as I'm right on these motherfuckers. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, if I was them, there's three of them. It was only two of us, you know, because we had lost my boys. So... They probably should have just pulled over and ran up and tried to fight because they had the advantage with an extra ninja. But they didn't. Plus, I don't know what they had in their car. They might have been strapped. But even so, I was determined to get back my CD. So, the conclusion to this mighty fucking dope story that has you on the edge of your seat right after this music. So, Mr. Bruce... Is it true that you are a member of the rap group Insane Clown Posse? And I said, yes, that's very much true. And he said, and is it true that you have song titles such as Dead Body Man, Santa's a Fat Bitch, Murder Go Round? And I'm sitting there thinking... What the fuck could this possibly have to do with this kid stealing my fucking CD case? We had an exciting <laughs> night. If you think about it, our first night, we had an exciting night. It's been exciting. It, uh, it's, I mean, been, it's been wonderful. I and, uh, I just... just sum it up in a word. I just, I just slapped Fritz with a CD. Damn it, he's... He's, he's gonna play it. One word... Scrum Yes! 
It has been. And it don't stop. We want to say thank you to everybody who called. And it don't stop. Everybody who participated in all the games and fun. And it don't stop. To the dude who dissed me at the beginning of the show. He called him me, gay, sir. And then he tried to talk shit to Monoxide. But he apologized. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all. Nothing but love. Ever, ever, ever. Thank y'all for listening and we out. Ryan Seacrest out, dude. Click it or take it. <laughs>